Hello folks, I'll keep this brief. My new app is out today for iPhone, iPad and Mac. Now obviously, I think it's pretty darn awesome, otherwise I wouldn't have shipped it, but it's out now. So I'd love to hear what you think. You can get the link below in the video description. As you can see, the app is called Hacktivate. And it's designed to teach real world computing science skills through capture the flag challenges. Users work with things like binary and hex and hashes and ciphers, JavaScript, network packet sniffing, regular expressions, Linux terminals, and more to solve greater challenges. The whole thing is built with Swift and SwiftUI, which is why it's cross-platform. But it's backed up by other frameworks like Accelerate, CoreML, and Foundation Models. And you get the first 10 tutorial challenges for free, so you can really explore the app. But with a one-time unlock, you get 240 more challenges, plus your progress is automatically synced across all your devices. Now, these challenges span a really wide range of techniques, but they always start with a tutorial teaching you the core technique in question. For example, I'll show you th three here. Here's one from Canada. Uh, it is called, You've Got Fail, a digital forensics challenge. You gotta dig through data somehow. And in this one, you've been given the credentials to log into the email inbox of someone who belongs to a cyber criminal gang. The username, zero sig, password, hacks on 999. So you log in as them. Uh, so it's zero sig, and then hacksaw 999, uh, log in. And now you can read zero sig's emails, and you scroll through, scroll through, scroll through, scroll through, and you eventually find one called next target, which sounds promising. You press on that, it's from the admin, great. They have the next target, great. We need for you to discuss. So now you're like, okay, I've got to try and get into admin's emails to find their target. And ah, you'll see in the game when you play it yourself. Let's try a different one. Let's exit that one. And this time let's go to uh, West Latin America over here. Because in this one, the tutorial is called Itty Bitty. And I press start challenge. And in this one, you have some audio to listen to. We have some audio the next target for the infamous Pizza Rat Gang. Uh, I'll press play now. Our next target is New York City. It sounds simple, but as the challenge says, they're based in the UK, something's wrong. What's the actual target? Now this is a tutorial challenge here, so you can see down at the bottom of the screen, it's walking me through how to solve this one, teaching me the technique in question. So I've got to use send the toolbox like this. And my toolbox lets me analyze text and pictures and audio in all sorts of ways. So it's saying, in this case, the group they love least significant bit steganography, which is when you hide a single bit of data in every eight or 16 or more pieces of bits. So every, every byte, only the last one perhaps is something valuable, some hidden data there. So we're gonna read that by using the extract bits operation. So I'll add that from my list here to my recipe. There we go. And I'm seeing a pretty even spread of ones and zeros, nothing special. But if I change every one byte, every two bytes, like it's telling me to do, like now, boom, I'm reading one bit in every 16 bits now, every two bytes. Now I see a whole string of ones. And that's very unusual. In some normal audio, someone speaking, a whole string of ones is a bit unusual, right? So it's saying maybe it's some text, we try and decode the binary as text by using from binary, which is down here. And we get gibberish, so it's clearly not text. So we can delete that one. And instead, it's gonna tell me to try a different operation called visualize bits, which is where it treats every byte of data as a grayscale pixel. So that'll be fully white, fully white, fully white, yada, yada, yada. And down here, you know, almost black and various shades of gray around it, right? So we can visualize these bits as pixels instead. So I'll choose the very bottom of our list somewhere. Uh, boom, visualize bits. And now we see that. That's the picture version of those bytes pulled out from the Pizza Rat audio. Now in this case, it's gonna to wrap to image width of 40. We can change that. Maybe the image is 20 points wide. Nope. 40 still no, 60 no, but 80, boom we find the picture saying the word Cardiff was hidden inside the bits of the audio data. 
This is not a spoiler, folks. This is a tutorial. It tells you what to do down here as you're working through the game. So it's okay. Let's do one more uh, exit challenge. Uh, let's do... Ah, so each region has its own theme. And the theme in Northeast Africa is databases. So if I launch this tutorial here, I'm going to get a local SQL database I can run commands against. And it's going to teach me just enough SQL to follow along with the challenges. So it's saying use the show tables command, common in MySQL, uh, show tables, like that. There we have uh, cities and users. We can describe one of them by saying, uh, saying again down here, desk users. So desk users, there we go. But this is your database. You can do what you like. You can destroy it all, delete it all, change it all. It'll reset when you exit the challenge and, and restart it again. So do what you like. So I might say, you know, select star from users, boom, and then delete from users, you know, zap it all, and then select again. They're, they're gone. It's live. It's your data. And again, it resets when you exit the challenge. Anyway, these are just three of the 240 challenges in the game. You have to work through the Linux terminal, dig through HTML, sniff packets, crack codes, and more. Again, it's called Hacktivate. It's available today on the App Store. I hope you give it a try and let me know what you think.